Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I purchased a wig from Wish two to three months ago. I know, I know. But people have had good and bad experiences of buying items from Wish. But anyway. Uh, the wig that I purchased from Wish cost me around 60 something dollars with shipping and handling. The description of the wig on the Wish website is as follows. Hair material is 100% pure virgin human hair. Hair texture is naturally straight. The hair color is 1B which is an off black color. The hair density is 130%. The hair length is 10 inches to 22 inches. The cap construction is a full lace wig. The wig comes with two side combs, one front. The cap circumference is 21 inches to 23.5 inches. Ear to ear across forehead is 11.5 inches. Ear to ear over top is 13 inches. Front, front to nape is 14.5 inches now I didn't want to spend two to three hundred dollars on my first wig and jack it up I just do not have that type of money to throw away so now this is how the wig has was shipped to me in this package here so, this is my first time ever opening since I bought it. When I did, when it did come, I just threw it in my drawer at home. And when I decided I wanted to install it, I decided to make a video. So, here I am today. Oh, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it. And we're going to see what this full sleep is looking like from which. There I go. Open it here. Uh, let me just do it there. I'll end up getting cut in my hair. So let's pull out the package here. It comes with a, a black cap. I don't want to be using this. My, obviously, it's not my skin color. This is the hair and another another plastic bag here. Let me take it out. So uh, and it's in a hair net. I'm take remove this hair net. This is what it's looking like. So this is what it looks like on my hand as far as the lace. Let me see. Like this. This is what the lace looks like up against my skin. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. Is the back? Oops. Here's the back of the wig and the adjustable straps that are attached to the wig. Back here and here, the other latch. All right, and the two holes on the side of the wig. Other comb in front of the wig. So, I will not be installing the wig today, however, but I am going to wash the unit and then install it tomorrow because I am way too tired. It was just not too long ago from work. So, I'm going to turn the camera off 
and head on to the bathroom. I'm going to be using Shea Moisture's Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo with Silk Protein and Nim Oil. It moisturizes and defines thick curly hair. It's sulfate free and color safe. I'm going to be using some warm water to clean the unit. I'm running it underneath the water here. Put a little bit of the shampoo on my hands. Rub my hands together and apply it to the unit like so. And rub it on the inside as well. Um, add some more shampoo, more shampoo to my hands, and rub my hands together and put shampoo on the inside where the lace is and clean it as well. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the shampoo is a little like discolored. Um, That's why I'm washing it to be safe. You never know. Right, no problem. Moving later. So this is what the water is looking like. I don't know if you can see that after washing the unit. All right. So. I'm all done washing it and then I'm just going to hang it up to dry and I'll see you guys tomorrow to install the wig. Alright guys, here it is the next day. Um, I hung the wig up to dry after I washed it. So this is what it's looking like. I'm going to post a photo somewhere in the video, either here or here, of what the wig looks like on the Wish website. So I already cornrowed my hair and eight cornrows going to the back and place my wig cap. So now I'm going to apply some foundation. <coughs> on my wig cap here I'm just going to put it a little bit here on this makeup brush spread it out a little bit and then apply it here onto the wig cap Alright, so that's enough on the wig cap. Now I'm going to place some on the lace of the wig here. Alright, so that's what it's looking like after I place the Found liquid foundation on the lace. So it looks like the lace is like pretty stretchy. Feels kind of thick to me. Feel like a little bit like nylon stocking, but a little bit rougher. So let's see. Apply this wig on. Well, actually, I wanted to put on a wig grip first. Ow! Ow! <laughs> so before I actually want to, before I put on my wig. I want to put on this Dream Lover scarf and wig grip.
give me a little bit extra security. Don't worry about my wig slipping off my head. seated in the area I want it to be. So, so far this is what it's looking like. The middle part. I'm going to see, clip this up out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so before I do um, start cutting whatever, the items that I'll be using today is got to be glue, styling, spiking gel. I'll be using got to be glue, blazing freezing spray. And Tresemme's Flawless Curless extra hold mousse yeah. um, uh, a satin scarf a pair of scissors some flat irons and some curling irons. So let me see if I can get this. Yeah, y'all. I'm so scared. I don't know what for, but I just am. I'm gonna get my scissors. Cut a little at a time. So if I must have room for error. Cut a little bit more further up though. I'm not cutting my own hair. I think that I do it. I think I messed up a little bit. Oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna move to this side. some of the um, 
got to be glue styling spiking gel on my forehead All right, and um, next, I guess, there got to be free spray. supposed to air dry it a little bit low I got that seated the way I want. So far as the lace goes, I'm gonna tie the satin scarf around my forehead and press the lace in more. Oops. Wait. Put this back portion out of the way too. All up in place. All right. And so it will just be right there. Let's see what I'm doing. I can't see. Here. Now I want my 
part to be mostly on the side. So I got my little part here. So I don't since I don't have a how come I'm trying to imp improvise and use my curling iron to help me flatten this out a bit. a little bit better is laying down now I don't think I'm feeling the straight hair so I am going to attempt to curl the curls in this hair Let me take a small section brush it out and start placing some curls and putting them up in this hair. Use a clip to clip this curl down. I'm going to another section of a piece of hair. Brush it out and curl it. So I'm just going to repeat this process of grabbing little sections from the wig and curling and pinning it with these little silver clips, hair clips.
pretty much done with curling my hair. See, you want to see how this lace is doing up underneath this satin scarf. So, but I'm gonna try to make me some baby hairs, okay? Some hair down. Gotta get some. Alright, oh, let me do one more flip here. Oh, that should be fine. Okay, so now I have some hair out for to make baby ears. I know next time to pull some hair out first before I curl my hair or I just lay down the lace. Or after the lace. We'll see you next time. It's not gonna be my last next time, not the last time. I mean next time I install it. We'll see. I don't know. But anyway, let's get to it. There's my scissors here. Cut the hair down. Now, time for the mousse. What did I do with my mousse? Right here. Now, some mousse. About that much. Smush it up and let's lay it in the area where I want the baby hairs to be. Baby hairs are set. Alright, so this is what my baby hairs are looking like. Alright, now let's take the clips out and see how the curl of the one got. guys so this is the full view of what the unit looks like this is the left side this is the back this is what the back looks like I don't even know what the back looks like but that's what it's looking like and this is what the right side looks like and here I am back at the front and this is the finished look so please like subscribe and please don't forget to press the notification bell button so you'll be notified when i post another video until next time bye